what are their intentions towards you and what might be their next actions towards you. So Spirit, for the viewer, may we please have a look. The person that the viewer has on their mind. What is that person's intentions towards them? The person's intentions towards the viewer. We have got the Two of Wands. And then let us have a look at what this person's next actions might be towards you. Spirit for the viewer. This person's next actions towards the viewer. We have got the King of Wands. This person certainly intends to have a future with you. My personal interpretation of the Two of Wands is someone who has a very clear vision for the future. We can see the illustration of the world here and I believe that is how they view you. They hold you in the hollow of their hand and see you as someone who is extremely precious. And I feel that it would bring them great happiness for the two of you to combine your wishes and your goals and your desires to co-create your version of heaven on earth. We can see from the illustration that this person's eyes are closed. To me it gives this indication that they have this foresight for the future. The ones, they do talk about this passion and this desire. And we can see how on these wands there are these little leaves that are forming, showing that these are not only ideas and thoughts for the future, but there is action that is happening. The sun symbolizing that there is much happiness and that there is much more of this happiness to come. I believe that this person's intentions are long term with you. As far as their next actions, we have the king of wands. This person does not need a fire lit underneath them. They are a doer, a mover and a shaker. Highly driven and ambitious. And their intentions towards you is going to keep them going on this path. I can see this as a person who would plan dates and put a lot of effort into this relationship. There's no doubt about it with all of the ones that we are seeing that there is chemistry between the both of you. So this person's next step is taking these visions, these goals, these desires that you have for your future together and actualizing them. With the lions that we are seeing on the throne here, I feel that this person is a very protective energy in all of the most beautiful ways. So I believe they will continue to offer this protective energy over you and to be a provider for you. Their intentions towards you, we have the sun and their next moves towards you, we have the two of crystals. These cards are absolutely stunning and every time I use them, people ask what they are called. So you will find the link to these particular cards and beautiful journals and calendars under dreamy moons in my bio. And actually, I believe that today they are having a massive sale. I don't know how long the sale lasts, but um, I would suggest if you've had your eye on these cards that you maybe have a peek at those today. Going back to their intentions with the Sun card, we had mentioned here that their intention is to bring you happiness. And this can absolutely be seen within this card. The Sun card is known as the happiest card of the deck. It is playful, fun, healing and mischievous. And for those of you who are familiar with my readings, you will have heard me say that the Sun card often represents the Divine Masculine card. With this card coming through, I believe that their intentions are very pure. Now let's mention the flag here, which in this particular deck is talking about vibrancy, success and victory. And holds to me this energy of truly feeling alive 
of truly living in a happy environment and living to the both of yours full potential. We can see that this horse has this unicorn horn and unicorns are symbolic of rarity, suggesting that what you have between you feels very rare. Their next actions towards you with the two of crystals. There could be some very distinct decisions that need to be made over the next little while of weighing up options and really having to listen to intuition as these choices are made. We can see within this card we have the stars and we have the constellations, suggesting that there may be a distinct timing that is involved in this decision making. We see the halo which is indicative of higher knowledge coming through. So to me I see this person as being patient of having great wisdom and when there are certain bridges and decisions that need to be crossed that this person will have the clarity in doing so. So in regards to action it feels like there is a particular time at which action will be needed on certain decisions and this person will have the clarity of mind in how to move forward in a very calm way. With a large body of water, and we see it here, and we see it here within the Two of Wands, and also seeing the symbol of the Earth here, there could indeed be something to do with travel in regards to these decisions. So in summary, their intentions are wholesome towards you. Not only do they visualize a future, but they are taking action towards this future here with the King of Wands. Not everything may be at a place that can be resolved at this moment in time. There could be some big decisions that are needing to be made. This person seems very aware of this and when the time comes they will be able to make a very capable decision as I always say, this is a collective reading, so please always listen to your own intuition as to whether this particular reading is for you. If you would like your own private reading as to potentially what someone's intentions are towards you and what the outcome might look like, then there are a few same day readings that are available. The link is in my bio and those readings will be returned to you within 24 hour period or I do have some Zoom calls available.